When I lived in Chicago, my family used to come to Algonac every summer to visit my grandma. One summer we came here and my parents had gotten this really huge fight. My dad, he stormed off on his bike. The following week we found his bike on his back roads on Morrow Road. Well, I quickly learned after that that um, the road is supposedly haunted. And rumors were swirling that my father was killed by the Morrow Road ghost. They never found his body. So the following summer, I was just, I was in denial, you know, that my father actually left my mother, so I wanted to do some research, and the superstitious locals, they told me that there was this woman that died trying to search for her missing son on the road, and she is still searching till this very day, and I found out that at the turn of the 20th century, there actually was a woman and her son that lived in the house, but no records show what happened in that. Ivy, what do you believe? Every small town has its legend. Hey, Kitty, we have some guy scoping out your place. fella like yourself can afford a place like this because yeah, it's a real fixer-upper you never told me you planned on being a father what are you talking about what's up with the crib in your bedroom no crib in my bedroom what's going on here road's right over there which road Moral. She's out there. Olivia, get out of the car. Just wait a second. Now, right now. Let us out of here. Why would they lock us in here? There's a lot you don't know about me. Only someone as self-centered as her can make this her own personal problem. You tiny rat. If you have something to say, say it to my face. This tiny rat is trying to get us out of here in one piece. Oh, my hero. In case it hasn't dawned on you, Anne of Green Gables, we're in the middle of nowhere. That is not cool. Oh my god, here she comes right! Go, 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 go! This road is damned. What really happened to her? Some say she never forgave herself and searched for her child until her death. Many believe she was beaten and murdered on the bridge. The natives never told anybody what really happened. I heard a child was stolen and sent to a sweatshop overseas. They said that a four-sided monster roamed these woods praying Supposedly, a curse was placed on her for losing sight of you the know, boy. This place reminds me of another version of the legend. Apparently burglars broke in years ago. The bridge and you light a fire and you can see her face in the flames. What do you think happened?